Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Inside the Orange podcast. The podcast all about understanding the people around us. Now, it feels really strange today that I've got no one to interview, and it's a a solo episode, one that I haven't done since back in episode four. And today's episode is asking how and why. And I'm talking about the people, myself, all around the podcast, really, who define those words and define how and why and how and why the podcast came to be. So, let's get into the episode. So welcome back to the Inside the Orange podcast. So first of all, I really need to say a massive thank you to Nikki Love, who was our guest last week, who is currently week one, probably just starting week two as this episode goes out, of her 100 marathons in 100 days. If you haven't caught her episode yet, then please have a look at it because it is quite breathtaking, really, that uh, the challenge that she's undertaken and how positive and optimistic she is about it. And from what I've seen so far on her social medias, she's doing an absolutely great job. And as I said uh, previously, I'm going to be joining her at some point, um, which not for a full 100 marathons, but I'll be joining her for, for one of them uh, local to me. So as I said in the intro, today's video is about the questions how and why. Now, the podcast itself became what it is because of listening to um, Simon Sinek's Start With Why talk. But it goes back before that. And what I did like with Start With Why was... uh, The stories of, of people like Steve Jobs that was a a why person but also the fact that he needed people like uh, Steve Wozniak who was his how person and I want to take this back to my parents so I am blessed and I've said this in in Instagram videos before and I've, I've, I've alluded to it in the podcast now and again that my parents I had a how parent and a why parent now at this point you're probably thinking what is he talking about And I don't blame you. I'm thinking the same too. But the idea of how and why, in my own understanding of it, was let me describe my parents. I had one parent, my mother, who every achievement, everything that was done was the best that you could do it. Someone that kind of made me want to go to the stars and achieve everything. And then I had my dad, who was a how person. He's so much more an analytical person, someone that's quite good with numbers, things like that. And his kind of take with it was, how do you do it better? So what I was so blessed with, and I'm not taking away from one or another, but what I was so blessed with growing up was having a how and a why, or a why and a how. And just having a grounding of, you have achieved so much, you've done amazingly well but how can you do even better? And that was something that kind of just, I was naturally born with, as I say, naturally came into this world. That's what my parents were like. And it's really interesting. Um, My wife, Mrs. S, who I allude to in, again, in my Instagram videos, she's a very how person. Now, I'm a why guy, okay? I am the kind of guy that wants to fly to the moon. And I've got so many friends out there who are similar, who are like, what can we, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? And the only way I can kind of say it and the balance that I love in this life is by having a how and a why person. So every why person needs a how person with them. Okay. The people like me want to fly to the moon, but we need people in there who are going to say, how are we going to do that? 
And again, it's, it's, it's vision, it's things like that, that, that why people have. And it's not saying that how people don't have vision, it's just a different kind of vision, it's just a different thing, why people have a different vision to how people and things like that. And having my wife as a how person is, again, even with this podcast, I make massive dreams, I make massive ambitions, and it's fantastic to have my wife to sit there and say, how are you going to make that possible? How do you make that work? How is that going to affect this? And I think, again, the balance is so good. And then I look at my children and I can see a how in one of them and I can see a why in one of them. I've got a son that, again, very analytical, very focused on kind of how things make sense. And I've got a little why person who does the dream. This is how we can do it. This is amazing, you know. And and it's so funny to see this kind of balance going throughout my kind of life from my parents to myself and my wife down to my children and it brings me on to something a bit different so I had a guest on back in episode six I believe that said there was the introvert and the extrovert being the same person now this is just a little bit of a side note that was Mark Holson if you haven't seen his episode please go back and have a look at that that's really interesting and I I love how the podcast has developed from that. So when I started the podcast, the podcast started audio only. I did, I've always been on YouTube, but it was audio only. It was visions. If you've seen my early episodes, there's no camera in it. And that was my introvert. And then I've got the answer of why I wanted to make it different. I wanted to make it bigger. I wanted to, to kind of, to, to make it grow. But to make it grow, I had to be on camera. I have to be the extrovert. And again, this comes from such a balance, and this is where the podcast comes from. Now I said, and again I alluded to earlier on in the in the episode, that the podcast came from Start With Why. And it did. I had an idea, I wanted to talk about understanding people in business because I wanted people to be trained, to be engaged, and to be retained because of understanding them, because of you knowing who they are. That was my why. And when I started the podcast, this this was the business idea. So I wanted to go out into the world, the big wide world, and t- tell businesses that what they were doing could be done better. Their training programs, their uh, the, understanding the people they had in their businesses could be done better. Because I've had experiences where understanding that person, understanding that person in front of you isn't ignored but it's not the highest priority and I found it so important that actually if you engage with someone and again this comes back to my my autistic son that once he starts talking about Wrestlemania once he starts talking about WWE you get that version of him and I uh, you get the best version and I said you could get three lines out of him for an English essay about William Shakespeare you would get a encyclopedia britannica version of tell me about the the uh, wrestlemania or anything about the wwe and it's about understanding those people it's understanding their why in that sense and so i started the idea that this was a business idea the podcast sorry before the podcast this was a business idea and when i started to tell it to people and again i go back to my i explained it to my mother That's where the name Inside the Orange comes from, by the way. So in case you haven't heard me say it before, I'm sure I have. But the idea of the Inside the Orange came from when I was explaining that if we understand people better, it's not about what's on the outside. It's about understanding what's inside, what's inside. And I stood by my fruit bowl in the living room, sorry, in the kitchen. And I said, it's like asking what's inside this orange. And I heard it. And... When I explained to my, my mother, she was like, she, she was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. But, and, and so I started to get quite passionate about it. I started to kind of talk about it more. And then I went a different way and I started to talk to people. Look, I've had this idea and I've, I've, got, this pl- I've, got, this, I've got this business idea that's just, just in my mind and I just want to, I, I, I think it will work. And when I started talking to uh, uh, some analytical people, they started asking questions like, how, how does it work? How do you take that into a business? How does a business actually know you're going to exist? 
They were my white people. And at the time, and again, this is really important, that there's a level of conflict when people have to understand that their dream, when, they, when, they, when the house starts getting asked, it might feel like someone saying, you can't do that. And as a person that is just fully convinced on dreams and a real big dreamer, when people start saying you can't, that affects you. That kind of takes the fuel out of your jet engine, if, if for, for a want of a better analogy. And people were asking that. But then also people were asking, why should people believe you? Why should businesses say, yeah, come on, off the street? And that's why I had to develop the podcast to be something completely different. That's why I wanted to start understanding people. That's why I wanted to go out there and think, actually, there is similarities with people. There is differences with people. And what does that mean? How does that differ from day-to-day life? And obviously, why is it called the Inside the Orange podcast? Or why is it called Inside the Orange? These kind of questions... Eventually, from from both sides of how and why, they started making me doubt what I thought. Started to doubt the business, started to doubt the idea. And then watching Start With Why, just a 10 minute TED talk that I saw through my Open University course, and listening to Simon Sinek and he said, people don't buy what you do, people by why you do it and that was the moment that my kind of why aligned and it made me feel that this was something that I wanted to do now I am thankful for every single person who has put that conflict in me put that idea of challenge why you know how are you going to do this how is this going to work? And again, I've got some fantastic relationships now with people and they know who they are, but they they know that they will ask me the, the how questions. And they know I don't want to hear the how questions because I want to hear, yes, Richard, that idea is the best you've ever come up with. And no one's going to do it. And and truth, and again, going back to, to Mark Holson's episode, a few, again, a little while ago, he says about having critical friends. Now, my best critical friends are the how guys, the people that say, how is that going to work? Now, this rambling today, this podcast episode has come together because I find it so important. And I thank the people back to my parents for giving me that balance, for giving me that idea. And again, let me not take anything away from it. My Parents could also ask, swatch, switch roles. One could say how well I've done, and the other one could say, well, how could you do it a little bit better? But generally speaking, this was their roles. And generally speaking, this is mine and my wife's roles with what we're doing. And again, I thank every single person who has given me the fuel, who has said to me, yes, go and do it. And I thank all the people that have said, how are you going to do that differently? How are you going to do that better? because they're all so important. So the questions that I'm going to ask until the end of this podcast and until the business and everything I want to do in life is answered and we're working towards answering that question of why do people need to be understood better? And I'm gonna strive every single week, month and year to make sure that people in business, people in, people in every walk of life are understood better. And I'm gonna need some guys out there who are gonna also ask me the question, how are we gonna do it? So guys, I want you to be with me. I want you to be my why guys. I want you to be my how guys. I want everyone out there who's listening today to define where you are. Find out where you are on that little that, that little thing. Are you analytical? Are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? Which, which kind of part do you sit on because do you know what in this world we need all of us and how we understand someone better is by firstly asking why and then we'll ask how so guys thank you so much for listening and i'll see you soon
So on next week's show, I'll be back interviewing again. And I'm going to be joined by author uh, Richard Eckley. Now, Richard sent me a book which was defined as a 20-minute coffee read. And he said, would I mind reviewing it? So what better way than saying, come and talk about it on the Inside the Orange podcast. So guys, until next week, goodbye and take care. Thanks for listening to this episode. If this podcast is something you enjoy, then please subscribe to the podcasts and make sure you like and share so more people can hear our message. Remember, if you have any questions for me or my guests, you can get in touch via our website, insidetheorange.co.uk, on Twitter, at Orange Watts, on Instagram, at Inside the Orange, or on Facebook, on the Inside the Orange podcast. And finally, there's an email of insidethisorange at gmail.com. All these links will be available in the description. Thanks for listening. Goodbye and take care.